Every day and night, first responders work to keep you and your family safe, but in some emergencies, the Horry County Fire Rescue and Police Departments need some special assistance. WMBF News reporter Ali Espinosa found out how a couple of four-legged helpers are being used to investigate certain crimes. He's my buddy. He's been with me for five years now. Um, I got him when he was two and a half years old. Um, his backstory is he was raised to be a service dog. And because he was too curious about things and because he liked food too much, um, he failed out of service dog school and uh, became an arson dog. Whether investigating a fire, searching for a missing person, or locating a suspect, Crosby and Pepper are a tool in helping Horry County Public Safety keep our community safe. They think it's a game the whole time. They don't know whether they're looking for a kid or whether they're looking for somebody who just committed a homicide. They, they don't know the difference. It's just a big game to them. Sergeant Justin Miller says Pepper is a key tool in solving crime and bringing criminals to justice. The boy. Crosby is one out of seven dogs in the entire state of South Carolina that is a certified arson dog and part of an accelerant detection team. That means his job is to sniff through a fire scene and look for ignitable liquid to determine if the cause of it was arson or not. Uh, there's a pride in it. I, I mean, I, I learned about arson dogs when I was in college and decided that's what I wanted to do. And it took me a few years, but finally Horry County Fire Rescue gave me the opportunity to get one. And it's been my uh, dream come true, my dream job, as you say, it's all I ever want to do. A total of 13 dogs, including Pepper and Crosby, are active members of Horry County Public Safety. Whether you see them around town working with their partners or working on active scenes like this fire here behind me, I'm told these dogs are also a great way to educate the community on public safety. In Horry County, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.